kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part eight of my video series on sound recorder app using Android Studio. All right, guys. So in our previous video, we had completed the on record method uh, inside our record fragment, and now in this video, I am going to show you how to use the on or how to write the code of on pause record method so basically let me show you so here we commented this method so we need to create this method this method so click alt and enter and let's select create method on pause and select this record fragment okay so here you we can say on boolean pause and inside that we can check if pause and now we can say pause button dot set compound variables with intrinsic bounds all right and inside that okay so here we let's say if we have the play button okay so here let's insert our again asset image asset and inside that we need the play icon so let's create that and let's say play and inside that we can say our dot drivable dot play and then we need zero zero and zero all right and after that we need to use the recording prompt text view and we need to set it set the text to resume okay so when the user pauses the, re the recording so we need to display the user the resume button okay so let's say resume all right and after that we need to get the the time when the recording is paused so we can say time when paused equals to chronometer dot get base and we will derive the formula of minus system clock dot elapsed real time all right and uh, finally we will need to stop the chronometer so we say chronometer dot stop all right and then if in our f part what we are going to do is we are going to have the pause button dot set compound intrinsic bounds okay so we need to use set compound drivable with intrinsic bounds covered and then we can say okay so let's say our dot driver dot pause and zero 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 okay after that we can set it back to pause because we are going to resume the uh, we are going to resume the recording so for that we can say recording prompt dot set text and we can set it back to pause and after that we can say chronometer dot set base and inside that we can say system clock dot elapsed real time
plus time when passed all right and then we can say chronometer dot start okay so we will start the chronometer all right guys so now it's complete but let's create now the recording service so let me show you okay in our own record method here we will say intent as to new intent and here we will stop the service okay so now we will create the recording service so let's click on new and then click on java class and here we can set the it to recording service and now it will extend with service now it's saying that error so we need to implement the method first of all on bind and then we also need the on create method and we also need on start command and finally on destroy all right so first of all we need some uh, objects so first of all let's say we have a string file name and file path okay then we also we need a media recorder uh, class so we can say media recorder that equals to null and also now we need a db helper class so let's create another class for our uh, database because we want to save the recording inside our database so for that we can say db helper okay so inside that we can have this db helper database and then we need a long starting time release equals to zero elapsed and also long elapsed millis equals to zero and then we need an interface so first of all we can say on timer and listener on timer change listener, uh, listener equals to null and then we need a static final simple simple date format and after that we can say timer format equals to new simple date format and inside that we can say double m double s and then we can say local dot get default all right after that we need a timer object and timer task we also need so we can say timer task increment timer task equals to null and then we need public interface on timer change listener 
and inside that we can say void on timer changed and inside that we can say in seconds all right so here we have this issue okay let's just remove that and let's say on start command Let's remove that. Okay, so let's check for the on start command. Alright guys, so now I have uh, I have this, so we can say in flag and in start ID. So just remove that. Alright, and now in our own create method, so we can say database equals to new db helper and inside that we can send get application context and that's okay so we will change that later and then in our own start command method what we are going to do is we are going to say start recording and we okay and just return start sticky okay and after that in our own destroy method so we can check if media recorder is not equal to null then you just need to stop recording and let's just cut that and paste it below here alright so now we need to create these two methods okay so guys in my next video we are going to uh, write the method for our start recording and stop recording okay guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye